so me and the man, we were talking, and he starts coming out with this thing about poor people because we had gone to the Goodwill, and he dropped off a big bag of black and brown mist match socks, and he thought he was really helping the poor, and I thought, well, maybe they could start a sock puppet troupe, and they could go and entertain the children with sock puppets, and that would be good for everybody. They could find a use for the man's, you know, discarded socks. Those socks should be recycled into something. I don't know what. But anyways, the man got talking about what it meant to be poor. And I thought, the guy, he, he grew up in a manor house. How would he possibly know what it meant to be poor? And I asked him, I said, I, what are you talking about? And he says, listen, I, I went to school. I went to public school. I would go sleep over at my friend's house. I know what the poor people do. I was around some poor people that had like two pairs of boots for the whole family. Only two people could go out at once in the winter. There was only two sh pairs of shoes. They were boots. They were big black boots. So if the mom and the, one of the kids wanted to go to church or the dad wanted to go bowling, you know, you had two pairs, it was like the library, you could sign them out. Everybody was in competition to see who could go outside, who could get the boots on. The little kids didn't care, they're size 14 men's. They would wrap, you know, yarn around the bottoms to try to cinch them to their ankles. I mean, that's what poor people do. My other friends, I went over the house, okay? The, the guy, the, so we're, it's like a camp out. It was a fun thing. We're kind of like in the sleeping bags in the living room floor, and they had a snowy TV. It didn't get no picture, but it was like a snowy TV. The snowy TV picture was kind of like the uh, campfire, and we were like laying around on the floor. The floor was filthy, dirty. I don't know why they didn't vacuum it. There's like wood chips, dust, beer tabs, you know. There were spiders crawling around. They didn't have fleas. Somehow they kept the fleas out. I don't know, but, but spiders, forget about it. They didn't have roaches or fleas, but I mean, they had like tarantulas and black widows and brown lacruse, you know, hanging, making webs under the furniture. You stick your hand under there, you come out with a brown lacruse, you know, ready to chomp on your wrist. But anyways, so anyway, we're, we're watching the snowy picture. We're ta kind of telling ghost stories and they break out the ice cream. Now, mind you, it was delicious cookie. It was off-brand cookies and cream, but it's pretty good. There's a lot of chunks of cookies and cream, but only one person could eat the ice cream at a time. They didn't have no bowls. They just had the container, the ice cream container. And guess what? This was an ice cream container eating fest because you didn't have no freezer. Once the ice cream came out, you had to eat it. I don't know where they kept the ice cream until it was time to eat it. But once it came out, that was it. Everybody shared the ice cream. You didn't have a bowl. You ate it right out of the container. They had one spoon. They had a few other spoons. You know, they would pass out, but they were plastic. They were like bend and break. So if you really wanted to eat the ice cream when it came to be your turn, you had to eat it with the metal spoon. But that's what you did. You passed around. Everybody would eat their fill of the ice cream right out of the bowl, and then they would pass the spoon in the ice cream container. That's when you know you're poor. And listen, everybody was having a good time. We were. It was a happy time. It was festive. But, you know, so don't tell me I don't know about poor people. But I thought, I, I thought that the man was really just trying to, you know, come up with a thing where he was uh, trying to ease his conscience because he's taking unwarranted tax write-offs on his charitable donations of, you know, mismatched socks and, uh, you know, frayed ties. Uh, you know, I, I don't, you know, he, the shoes he gives him, at least he does wash the shoes. He doesn't wash anything. He at least washes the shoes that he takes over and the golf shirts. He's got golf shirts with collars from the 1970s. He brings three or four of these at a clip. I don't know who's benefiting from this stuff, but I think the man, when he was talking about he knows poor people, I think he was just, uh, you know, trying to say he was like an everyman or he was one of the people. He was one of the, you know, but, you know, it's all right. It, it didn't really matter. It didn't convince me anything. And, uh, you know, the man, he should, you know, he is who he is. He doesn't, he shouldn't have to make any excuses.